You'd get they beat were up. aggressive you back then. You would get beat yeah. up in the West Village by a trans chick. Well, what's the one? Yeah. That's what I loved. The, that was the GameStop video, right? Yeah. That's the one I kept uh-huh. That was the famous one, right? Where it was like, it's ma'am. Yeah, that's Stop it. calling me sir. And then it's yeah. like a... It's like <laughs> that's a, not how ma'ams talk, ga- bro. A, ga- <laughs> a GameStop nerd just going like, okay, sir. And like, oh! And just like start kicking over PlayStation. See, that's the problem that women are having is that these men who decide that they're women are now invent they're entering into these places that are just women's only and women's events and women's things. And they're dominating like men do. It was one of the it's very nuts. It, was, it was one of the very few points that uh I've had like seeing that other side of it that I didn't for a long time. So kind of recently is like the the argument in sports is almost like, oh, they're gonna dominate and kick ass and you know, it's basically a guy beating up a girl in this fight and all those things. But then it was it was the scholarship thing. I don't know why that never dawned on me before. It's like, no, these girls are like, no, I was going to be like the number one recruit out of my school for yeah. sure. And then this girl came in and made my, me look like I'm terrible because she's six foot five and, you know, 35 pounds more than me. Yeah, it's nuts. You're letting people cheat. You you literally there's a reason why Title IX was invented. It was invented so that women could be able to compete with other women. And you can't have an exemption for that just based on feelings because it's not about feelings. It's about fairness in sports. And the only way to make it fair is if you're an intact biological male, you have to compete against intact biological males. Yeah, it's just. You could still call yourself Debbie. Get on aisle four, Debbie. You're oh, you're yeah. in lane four. You're competing against Mark and Steve. <laughs> but is there no, you have a t- is there this no, is fuck? We're not children yeah, here. It's just we're not in no a fairy rational, tale. That's is there right. no rational sect of the trans community? I don't know if I've ever heard someone in the trans community come out and agree with that sentiment. It's like, oh yes, no, yes. we shouldn't be. Oh no, 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 yeah. Blair White. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Blair White. And there's a yeah. bunch. There's a bunch of people who are trans who are like uh, basically come out and say like, look, I know I'm not a woman. I know yeah. I'm a man. And Bro, yeah, we saying? shouldn't be. We shouldn't be around kids. We shouldn't be competing in women's sports. There's there's a decent. We shouldn't be around kids at all. Blair White <laughs> goes <laughs> to these these events where like trans yeah. people and she she gets like called a Nazi and kicked out. Yep. It's she's, because well, she she's on the wrong side. With a huge cock. <laughs> 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 that was a sculpture of Hitler right there. Blair White. <laughs> no, yeah. I think she's gone through the whole, the whole thing. That's the. It's like one day they're going to be able to manipulate chromosomes, where you're not going to ever have to worry about that again. They're they're going to be able to change you to a woman. They're going to actually be able to do it. I don't know if they're going to be able to do it to us, but some somebody's lifetime. From the f- in the future, there's going to be people what do you that mean? are like, what do you, what do you, mean? you know, people are like serial divorces. They keep getting married and divorced. There's going to be people that go back and forth, man to woman, <laughs> man to woman. They're just going to be pigs. They're just going to be dirty, greedy pigs. They like, just want to f- fuck and get fucked and just. <laughs> 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 I was a good, yeah, goes, I fucked is, myself is, last week. Is this thing? <laughs> I was a whore or like a like a womanizer. He goes, I goes, I was a bit of a woman in my twenties, and <laughs> yeah. then I did my thirties as a guy. Yeah, some women are going to be looking for men who've only been men the whole. Time. Well, I that's the shit that's really no. weird. Is you get teenagers that like they change, and then like, a few years later, they were like, "Oh yeah, it was a phase." Of course, especially <laughs> like, these poor girls that are getting mastectomies. No, it's like making a choice. It's, it's, it's like making a choice insane. of goth at one yeah. point. Yeah, imagine exactly. you had eyeliner tattooed in your <laughs> <laughs> when you were sixteen. The crazy thing is, you don't let them get tattooed, but you will let them get gender alternating surgery, which is yeah. just bananas. Is that both, happening? By the way, by the way, gender affirming. Excuse me, gender affirming surgery. Not a lot. Not a lot of surgeries. Uh, under 18 there is a lot and when I say a lot, but I think tens of thousands one, of like the chemical lot. shit, like the uh, all of the it, dude. There's, blockers there's yeah. plenty of girls that are getting mastectomies very young. There's yeah. photographs of them. If you're doing that before you're an adult, you don't know what the fuck you're doing. It's insane. It's insane. And it's insane. Gonna... It's just nuts well, that people also... are agreeing to it just to be kind. Look, there's also a real debate with surgeries like that about whether that should be allowed even after you're an adult. And like, I'm not. I'm not even saying allowed. Of course, you should be allowed. But shouldn't Steve O be allowed to get fake tits if he wants to? Sh- yeah. But listen, I'm not even saying allowed. Out of that though. Yeah, he got out of that. He's not doing it. Yeah, yeah. it was even too much for Steve O. I think he thought it was dangerous. Yeah, it was retarded. Well, you also have to cut the muscle on a dude. I think. It, 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 all I'm saying is, there's yeah, that's tough. <laughs> you have to go up in there. It's got to pump out. Yeah, I don't think. I think Steve O made the right call. I mean, I look, so. it would have been a great bit. <laughs> but I think I that's left. the only way it would have stuck out because you know, I don't think he has enough tissue in the front yeah. to give you like a traditional regular type boob job. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, but my Damn point it. is like, next man up. If you're a grown woman and you're 40 years old, you decide to get your boobs removed. Who the fuck am I to say you shouldn't be able to no, do that? No, listen, I kind of I look. I'm a libertarian. I tend to agree with you. But if there's 
if there was a doctor and you asked them to just like remove my fully functioning left arm because I identify as a right a one-armed person right. or whatever and doctors were like no I'm not I'm unwilling to like perform right. a surgery well, on I you. Well, I mean, they do, you would jobs, understand. they do boob jobs. Yeah, they do, I'm just they do so many elective surgeries there's, that well, they Well, there's they an elective do. preventative surgery that a lot of women do if they think they have that gene for oh, breast yeah. cancer. That's they, what that's, Angelina Jolie right, did. That's a little different. Okay, Steve-O was supposed to uh, level of oppression. He said, but the person in the supermarket spoke to Steve-O about the level of oppression that the trans people face in a pretty heartbreaking way, which made him realize, wow, maybe it's not all fun and games. After this, he feared a stunt would seem like an exercise in celebrating violence against trans people. And he decided to call it off. Oh, so that's mm. why he called it off. I yeah. thought it was just, this is insane. I'll tell you well, what, I, don't I have a feeling he was like... I don't want to do this, but then you can really get out of it by doing making a nice speech like that's pretty great. <laughs> that would be a good move because otherwise really you're gonna ruin move. your tits forever, <laughs> and then you'd have to go under another time to get them removed, and then you'd always have scars on your your tits, and you're 50. <laughs> when someone goes, when someone <laughs> someone you're afraid to fight says they're gonna fight you after school, and you go. It just what's the when do we break the cycle of violence? He was gonna dress up and go to a biker rally. I guess that was part of it. it oh, he get he thought he would get a crazy <clears throat> reaction out of a motorcycle riders who were checking me out before realizing who I, who he was. I would have considered to be better footage if I was to be beaten up at the motorcycle rally. He said, "You know, oh. what, but the thing is, like, you could get fake tits put on you by prosthetic people, the yeah. same people that did like the penguin. You ever see uh, what's his name?" The, the uh, handsome Dan fella, the Colin Farrell. Colin yeah. Farrell, the crazy. handsome fella, right? They made him look disgusting for the penguin. Like the, yeah. they can give you tits, bro. You don't have to get them. Yeah, and it'll look indistinguishable. Yeah, and you... it's the same fucking stunt, yeah. Marilyn Manson. But though, yeah. that's a painting, isn't it? Uh, that was a prosthetic. No, but it's also you didn't have. Is that something he wore? Well, look, like no cock either. Some shit. Do you know there's people that are doing that? They, what? They're just getting castrated because people want to be nulls. They want to be nothing. Is that a real thing? Oh, yeah, it's a real thing. Jeez. But isn't that yeah. essentially what someone gets the surgery is doing? Well, they were trying to get a hole. Yeah, they don't they want to. They want to pussy. This is just like they become like uh, they just want the nothing. unsullied from Game want, of Thrones. Exactly. <laughs> they want no no cock, no balls, no nothing. How do you pee? Let's, let's go, champ. You don't little have to hole, pee. Little hole. Piss out a little piss hole. Just it's have to keep a little fucking band-aid over it for most of the day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Have a little cork you put in it? But, you know, I don't want you to do that. But if you're you're an American, I feel like you should have the freedom to do something stupid yeah. you know i'm covered in tattoos you want to get your dick chopped off who the fuck am i to yeah, tell you but you're never going to hear a thing where someone goes you cut your dick off because best thing i ever did <laughs> probably <laughs> not but some people just don't well there was around. that like pain olympics thing back in the day where the oh. guys would mutilate their cocks and you're like what do you i mean you only got one shot to slice uh, your dick in half like uh, that's it i saw plenty of those videos where guys just chop the head of their dicks yeah. off with knives you're like it's <laughs> insane 